In today's video, I'm doing a four controller comparison to tell you which controller is best for your money, your gameplay, and your preference. If you wanna see a full review of any of the controllers I have in the video today, I'll have links to all these controllers and the reviews I did personally in the description below. Also, I have chapters, so if you wanna skip around, go to the end where I tell you which controller to buy because 99.9% .9 of you guys, that's all you're here for. Make sure you click in the chapters below and check that out as well. And let's, let's get into it, peace. The very first controller we're talking about is the Enhanced Controller by Power A. What comes in the box? Of course, you get the controller and also a micro USB. You also get the instructions, of course. The features on this controller are as followed. You get the two extra buttons on the back and you get the volume button on the front to control your volume on your headset. That's about it for this controller, guys. Again, this controller is very, very lightweight. It's very, very cheap filling. But again, this controller is also only $30. Let's talk about the Infinity Spectrum controller or Spectrum Infinity controller, however you want to say it. This controller is $40, just $10 more than the Enhanced controller. This comes with the controller itself, a nylon cable for micro USB again, and the instruction manual for some good stuff on this controller. The features for this controller are as followed. You have the two buttons on the back, of course. You also have the two-way trigger stops, and you have the volume control for the headset itself, just like you do on the enhanced controller. And last, but definitely not least, this thing has RGB lights. This thing has seven different zones you can set up, so you can have all kind of different colors just the way you want them. And again, this thing comes in at $40. It's a pretty legit controller for $40, honestly. And the last Power A controller we're gonna talk about today is the Fusion Pro Controller. This is the first gen, the OG controller that Fusion came out with for the Xbox One, One S and all that. This is not a next gen console controller. I had this on this list for budget controllers just because when I first looked into this video and putting everything together, this controller was actually on Amazon brand new for $60. Now, I'm starting to have issues finding it. I think Power A is trying to pull everything off the shelf so they can push their Power A Fusion 2 controller, which I did a review on also. You can check that out in the description below. But with this controller, what you get in the box is a lot different. You get the controller itself. You also get a nylon micro USB cable. You also get a carrying case and you get extra joysticks and extra I guess rings for your joysticks and the faceplate comes off so you can also make, uh, interchange this faceplate with different colors and stuff if you can find them out there. Now this controller, like I said, was brand new at 60. I can't find them very often now, but when I do find them, you can find them on eBay, you can find them. There are some people still selling them on Amazon. I'm finding them as low as like 30. $35. If you can find one of these that low, I would definitely snag one up. The, the con on this controller, honestly, are the back of these. These things are not very well made. They're plastic on or metal on plastic so they give they can eventually give out but anyways i did put this controller in here because other than what the one issue i did have this controller is awesome i did like it and the buttons and everything felt good to me so let's move on to the next controller and last but not least on the list is the brand new turtle recon controller turtle beach recon controller they came out with this thing comes with the controller itself it comes with a nylon usb-c thing God, someone got it right here. And it also comes with the manual for how to use it, how to set everything up on it. Features on this controller are as followed. You get the two extra buttons on the back and you get the cooling grips on the side when you rip your hand around the controller, they're cool to the touch. And you also get the EQ on the front of the controller itself. This EQ does all types of sorts of things like superhuman hearing mode. It also has bass boost, mid boost, vocal boost, or trip do something like that and it also has four different profiles you can actually save to the back of these buttons that way if you have different games and different things you want to set these buttons up for you don't have a problem you don't have to set them up every single time you switch games you can save it to four different profiles on here this thing also has aim focus which means if you have one of the buttons underneath set as it and you hit it and then you move your right joystick and that's your first year person game it will actually slow your aim down while you're aiming down sights this thing also has amplified 
amplifiers in it to amplify your headset you have on. This makes it awesome for people that have cheaper headsets. If you have a cheaper headset and you plug it into it, you're gonna get an automatic boost from this to your headset. It's just gonna sound better, honestly. So talking about all the controllers and talking about how everything goes and what controller does what, what controller should you buy? Well, it's not actually an easy answer. It is easy, but I'm gonna break it down for you. Don't, don't worry, this ain't clickbait. So with the enhanced controller, which is $30, this controller is honestly for the person that just can't afford the $40 controller. That is tight on money. And if you don't have a lot of money, it's a good controller for the price. It does feel cheaper. It does not have a whole lot of features other than the two buttons on the back and the Xbox share button, of course, but for $30, bucks it's really not a bad controller at all the the spectrum infinity controller on the other hand if you can afford the 10 extra dollars by any chance 10 out of 10 times i'm going to buy the infinity over the enhanced controller just because of the trigger stops the extra buttons and the rgb lighting the controller actually feels more durable and it just feels better it just it's just heavier it just feels like it's been it was built better now the fusion pro one controller this is for the gamer that wants all the extra buttons right you the two buttons aren't enough you want four paddles on the bottom of it if you can handle the possibility of you know power a poop not having having lots of parts of this stuff for these controllers anymore and you want to pick one up to see how it feels if you can find one for 30 bucks 35 bucks 100 worth picking up because honestly you do get the extra paddles i love four buttons two buttons are cool and everything but i'm the guy that has the razor chroma 2 which six buttons i use quite literally use five out of six buttons in warzone so the four paddles are definitely an upgrade from the Enhance or the Spectrum Infinity. Not to mention with the extra joysticks and stuff, you can just make the, cut, the, the controller a little bit more customizable to your gameplay. Now the Turtle Beach Recon controller, which is gonna actually be the most expensive controller in this video, it's actually not a bad controller at all. I actually love the controller, especially for my wired headset users. If you have a wired headset, especially a cheap one, like the, uh, the Recon 200s, right, from Turtle Beach, this controller is for you. I would recommend this controller for anybody that uses wired headset to just enhance that sound quality and just to give you those extra features and everything. You don't get the trigger stops, unfortunately, and you only get two buttons, but this thing is an awesome controller for 60 bucks, honestly. For me personally, I use a wired head, wireless headset. So out of all these controllers, I'm gonna probably go with the Spectrum Infinity personally, just because I don't wanna deal with the headache with the Fusion Pro and its parts, just in case I get a dead controller or something like that. If you wanna see an expensive gaming controller, make sure you click on the video right here and I'll see you next time later.